the third part of this tutorial is going to be nice, short, and sweet. And I'm just going to basically discuss why I use fences, as you would have seen in the requirements. And basically what I do is make the icons on my desktop, the application icons, remain visible while all of my other files are hidden. That is a feature that comes with fences and is available in the free version of it, so it's good. The actual reason why you would use fences is because it allows you to create little allocated spaces and label them a bit like folders in on the iPhone, iPod, iPad, i whatever. So it's mainly for organization. But I actually use it so I can hide all of my desktop icons because I save so much stuff on my desktop. Normally my downloads go straight to my desktop before I sort them, but I still want to keep all the application icons there without ruining the look. So I hide them. Now with your icons, you want to right click on them and exclude them from fences quick hide which basically means that when you double click on your desktop as you can see right now all of the other icons disappear so these application items computer adobe after effects and videos they stay visible while the other icons disappear it's a very cool thing that's built into fences and i recommend you use it what if you actually want to see all of your desktop icons though in a folder you basically have to go right click on anything on your desktop, a folder, anything, send to the desktop and create a shortcut. From there you right click and you go into the properties. And as you can see here, the path is users Samuel desktop Asia trip. You want to change that so it only says desktop. So you're just removing the folder end which is Asia trip off the target line. You press apply and now it will link to your desktop although it says Asia Trip so you have to change the name of it to desktop. If I change it, it will say desktop 2 because I've already created one. And now when I open it, it will show me all of my desktop stuff, all everything on the desktop and it works fine. That's pretty much it for my free part tutorial on how to create an iPad looking desktop. Thank you for watching, comment, rate and subscribe. I'll see you guys.